Hey everyone, this is Dark Mario 2 here once again, and I just want to wish everybody a happy Easter, uh, whatever Easter means to you. Have a happy one of those. Uh, anyway, so uh, when you think of Easter, uh, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Maybe it's rabbits, maybe it's Jesus if you're Catholic, uh, maybe it's eggs, right? We all like eggs. We like finding eggs. I like eating eggs. Um, <clears throat> it seems that there's a company out there, and it's not Kinder, uh, that likes making eggs. And I um, ran across these at my local uh, grocery store, and they were so creepy looking and so just outright mysterious in origin that I just had to buy a couple to show you guys uh, today. Um, so all the way from... IMAX Leader International in California, we have Happy Egg. At least that's the first one. Uh, I have a total of four. I think there are about six in the range. Uh, so <clears throat> these eggs are, well, they were mar they first appeared uh, in my local um, Albertsons chain, uh, whichever that would be for you, be, be it Jewel or Tom Thumb or Albertsons or... Um, I think Vons is also uh, another one, too. Uh, these first appeared, I want to say, a month and a half ago. And I saw the stand, and I, and I immediately went, ugh, you know, because... Um, and you can kind of see by the art on the egg here, it uh, really resembles... I don't know if you're familiar at all with those um, really, like, weird uh, Flash games. Uh, like, you know, like the Elsa foot surgery or, you know, that kind of weird, like, sort of questionable origin flash animation kind of things. Well, this art really reminds me of that. Um, also, I just noticed that the egg is uh, it's a blue egg with hair, but then it has really human hands. Um, and uh, I guess we're just going to jump right in here and see what we got here. And I'm going to I'm going to reveal them in order of uh, strangeness. Um, <clears throat> so first of all, we have Learn and enjoy Happy Egg, net weight 1.6 ounces or 30 grams, v gummies with vitamin C plus toy. So it's an egg market, like a, it's like a mystery egg sort of thing uh, marketed towards children uh, that contains uh, vitamin gummies, which is really strange to begin with. Uh, let's flip her over here. Um, so this is Joy, and I looked on the back of some of these... Um, after I bought them. So there are different, and you'll see them in a minute here, there are different types of eggs. There's happy egg, and there's a king egg, and there's another one called a lucky egg, which I didn't get. Uh, but they all have, they're, they're of different monikers, and I think that um, tells you what you're going to get inside. Um, but they all have different, like, weird flash animation faces on them. Um, let's take a look at the back really quick. I, I want to say all the... Um, all the backs are about the same stuff here. We're, we're just going to look at it real quick here. So, um, nutrition facts, uh, 100 calories, no fat, uh, 2.3 grams of protein. Uh, I don't have a piece of beef jerky in it or something. Um, and then also, worryingly, it has a, uh, a supplement or, or a separate area for supplement facts, uh, vitamin C, 30 milligram. Which is 150% your daily value of vitamin C. So you're not just giving kids vitamin C gummies. You're giving them like way over their recommended dosage of vitamin C uh, in one package. Which um, that seems really suspect. Um, so apparently so there's a toy in here as well. You can hear it rattling around. Um, but it does say on the back here that toys shown on pack for illustration purposes only. Actual toy inside it may vary. So we could get anything in here. We could get a... Hell, I don't even know at this point. Um, just, or made by Eggs Time. Learn and play at eggstime.com. Keep cool and dry. 20, or copyright 2021. IMAX Leader Incorporated. All rights reserved. It's BPA3. It's certified halal. Uh, which I have a hard time believing that. And uh, it has zero to three sad onions as uh, 
reviewer uh, Stuart Ashen, Dr. Ashen, whatever you want to call him, um, finds on a lot of his products. So we know we're dealing with probably whatever the opposite of quality is. So we got a little open tab here, and I have been talking for five minutes about one egg, so we'll hopefully speed, the, whoa, speed this along here. So the egg pops apart, and now you can, I don't know, make a jello mold out of eggs. Um, so, oh, so we have some items here. We have the Happy Egg Gummy Bear with Vitamin C, 15 gummies with Vitamin C. And there's a couple more designs of the of the, uh, the eggs. Oh, here's all the happy eggs. There you go. You can try and collect them all. Um, and they're best before um, November 17th, 2023. So we're just going to open these really quick. Oh. Yeah, they're just quite literally uh, gummies. Uh, like they're, you know, sort of gummies that you'd get in like a like supplement aisle at like Walgreens or whatever. Um guess I might as well eat one here to see what they're like, even though I just put it all over my cutting mat. Uh, maybe that's not a good idea, but let's see. Ooh, this one's got like a hair on it. Okay. Uh, those are going right in the trash. They, oh, that's not good. They're supposed to be orange flavored, as you can kind of tell by the color. Uh, but mm, they are not a good uh, flavor. Let's just say it's real. It, it almost tastes like a like a poisonous orange flavor. Uh oh, it also almost tastes like a poisonous orange flavor. Uh, so before we get to the surprise, which you can already tell what it is. Let's take a look at the little uh, little piece of paper that they included. Oh my lord! Look at all these fidget spinners. Focus attention. The toys you grow up with. Um, collect them all. Happy egg. So these are all the happy eggs. They. Okay, so they, the ones up top. What's up top here? You know, you got like happy. You got happy. You got kind of kind of nerdy, kind of goofy, and then they. I don't know, they get kind of, like, weird. Like, their eyes get, like, weird and, like, seductive. I don't know what that's all about. Um, play and learn at eggstime.com. I'll be sure not to go there. Uh, let's look at the fidget spinners really quick. Uh, it's mostly just regular old fidget spinners. Although that one... <laughs> that one looks like a dollar sign. Um, they're punched with propellers on them. There's the one I got. It's got the smiley... Like, the weird smiley faces... There's like a batarang, like a batarang looking thing. There's one with six petals on it. Um, so, okay, we're done with that. Uh, let's look at the uh, fidget spinner. It's kind of a creepy looking, like, it almost looks like, it, feel, it looks like it's organic. Like, like this, this exists in nature somewhere or something. It spins. Not like our actual fidget spinner. It has like a ball bearing in it or anything. It's just plastic on plastic. Um, yeah, it's just like a plastic uh, <clears throat> button in the middle. Okay. So that's that. That's one. Just as a representation. We'll go like that. Uh, next up is the king egg. Uh, these all have sort of strange-looking clown faces on them, the king egg. Um, I don't know exactly what's going on here. He's got little, like, legs that are, like, sticking out of the bottom of his, like, eggy mass. Uh, this has two chocolates spread, plus two toys, plus game. So this is one, uh, entertainment-filled egg. Um, it also sounds like it has, like, dust floating around in it. Uh... Vegetable oil, coca powder, whey powder, sugar, milk powder, coca syrup, edible essence, granulestin, and rice are all the ingredients in the chocolate spread. Contains milk and wheat. Manufactured on equipment that also processes products containing soy. This has 147.7 calories, which I've never seen one that goes into the decimal places. Um, there are two servings per container. Uh, zero to three sad onions once again. Halal. ASTM certification. I'm trying to remember what that means. 
there's a, it's on one of the eggs. Um, I can't for the life of me find it. Um, but it's like improvement. Um, it's like something about, it has to do with their manufacturing standards. Uh, anyway, uh, some kind of, it's delicious, enjoyable. It says, did that one have a, did that one have a subtitle? Let's look at it really quick. You know, this video is going to be a million hours long. Uh, no, that was just Happy Egg. And let me tell you, I'm, I am ecstatic right now. So uh, let's just open up the King Egg here and see what we got. Maybe. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> All right, let's try that again. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so that's uh, King Egg. Let's look at all the stuff we get here. So we get two little, uh, we get two little plastic uh, tennis rackets. Oh, for the, for the chocolate spread. Um, so we got those. Oh, we got another fidget spinner. Um, this one seems to be even cheaper than the last one. Uh, I do like. Oh, just it just. Whoosh. Okay, so I guess we're going to open up one of the chocolate spreads here. Um, let's see what we got. Magic egg, happy egg, king egg, lucky egg, emoji. Oh, I'm, I'm uh, spoiling myself here. Oh, jeez. I think this stuff impossible to open. I can't imagine a kid trying to open this. Okay. So, yeah, it smells like, like, sort of, like, rip-off Nutella, and we're gonna open our little, like, a little plastic bag, like, a, a like action figure accessory comes in or something. Uh, okay, there's the little eggs time spoon. We're gonna dig into this. Oh, it's, I mean, it's soft. It's got, like, little, ugh, my God, I'm getting it all over the place. It's, like, got little pellets in it. Got like crunchy bits of styrofoam on top. Mm. I kind of don't feel like I should have eaten that. Um, it tastes better, to its credit, it tastes better than the gummies. Um, but that isn't uh, saying much. Um... All right, so as in terms of the surprises that we got here, is it the same thing? I, mean, I think this is a this is a different one. Um, it's the same style of ad. Oh, popping toys use them in many ways. Uh, that sounds kind of creepy. Um, yeah, it's got all the they have all the Tetris blocks available. You know that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Maybe it's like Tetris 2 or something. Um, and then a mystery girl. Uh, so we indeed got another fidget spinner. Which, compared to the last one, does uh, just spin a little bit nicer. And we got one of these little f fidget pop things. Uh, I've never... I've seen these like sold at like Walgreens and stuff like that, but I've never actually touched one before. Yeah, I could see how people could, uh, you know, get some entertainment, some fidgety uh, pleasure out of this. Um, yeah, I mean, this part of it is this part isn't too bad, um, but you know, that's it's, it's not saying a lot, I guess. All right, uh, so now the eggs go from just kind of weird. Uh, let me get rid of that. Just kind of like weird, like kind of flashy animation weirdness. To now we have delicious, enjoyable, two chocolate, two chocolate spread, two toys plus game. Delicious, enjoyable magic egg. 
sorry, ooh, excuse me, that was, that must not have been not appetizing. Um, <clears throat> so this combines the creepy, like, flash animation art with, like, a really archaic spelling of the word magic. Um, and this is, uh, this, uh, this, this egg in particular is honestly what kind of drew my eye to it, um, when I saw him at the grocery store. Because I saw the word magic, and I was like, magic? Like, re like, that's the spelling of magic you're going with? Um, oh, there's the, uh, CPSIA, uh, which is the, um, Consumer Products Safety Improvement Act, um, which if you have to, like, advertise that on the back of your product, maybe that's not, um, a good idea. <laughs> um, so, uh, I should also note this one was Joy. And this one was, uh, well, a king. Yeah, that one didn't have a name. This one, uh, there's a range of magic eggs. This one is the moon egg. Um, I imagine there's probably maybe there's other planets or whatever. So without further ado, oh, all right. I got some cool stuff this time. Okay, so we got more of those awful chocolate spreads. Um, I'm going to save the best thing for last. We got two spoons to share it with a loved one. My neck's starting to get kind of itchy after eating that chocolate stuff. Uh, oh, all right. Look at that. There are an entire menagerie of very small, very plastic dinosaurs. Uh, everything from, let's see, where's my favorite? Well, there's an, an there's an ankylosaur. There's that one. Uh, there's a pterodactyl. Uh, there's... At least a, a T Rex in there. There's a Stegosaurus, Triceratops. Um, oh my God! Oh, and there and here's the game. Uh, we can find ten differences in these really like ugh, sickening looking. I don't even know what to call them. Like sort of like Lisa Frank on acid. Um, sort of pictures. Uh, let's see if I can find any of the differences, and then I'll just give up here. Uh, okay, there's an antenna there, but there's no antenna there. Okay, you, you can see where this is going, but... Um, Dino Toys Collection, and it's also the Magic Toys Collection. So, I guess they're saying dinosaurs are magic, which, uh, I guess, to be fair... Yeah, dinosaurs are magic. Um, ooh, I got this. Okay, so I got the regular... Uh, whatever this guy is, maybe a dinosaur expert in the comments down below can tell me what that is. Uh, he's got giant, like, weird, like, elf shoes. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. An elf shoes a -saurus. Um, I mean, these, these, uh, these little dinosaur figures, they're, they're nice little, cheap little plastic toys. I don't think they're worth, like, the four dollars a piece I paid for these eggs, but, um, and these, look at that, they stand on their own, uh, two feet prehistoric two feet and i also got a uh looks like the t-rex uh, and this one's got like a big old like splatter of silver paint on it um i think they're trying to go for like sort of like a sh glossy like scaly look but they ended up making him look like he's like half robot which you know um i think any oh that one doesn't stand up very well um at all uh, I mean, any kid would like a half-robot dinosaur. I mean, hell yeah. Yeah. And I, he's, he's standing up about as well as I would expect a half-robot dinosaur to stand up. So, in terms of uh, values so far, I suppose the king egg is the best. Uh, but uh, we're going to come upon now something which is, I think, really telling about this series. Possibly where they come from. And maybe some strange implications because of that. Uh, last we have the um, chocolate spread and surprises, multiple. We have the Skaska egg, uh, which I looked up before I started filming, uh, which is Russian for a uh, fairy tale. And there are a couple different ones in this range. Um, this is the Puss in Boots one, or it seems to be like P Puss in Boots and like Sort of some, some weird combination of, like, uh, I don't even know, like, it's like pirate Hagrid <laughs> sort of sort of man. A little spider. Um, <clears throat> so this, once again, it's another chocolate spread and there's surprises in it. Um, everything's the same, keeping a cool, dry place. 
zero to three set items once again. Um, I still don't know what granulestin is, and I don't really want to know what edible essence is. Um, and this one expires two days after Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, whoa. Holy moly. Okay. So we got our two awful uh, sort of fake Nutella, sort of fake Kinder um, treats. We got, oh, there's the spoons. Share it with a friend. Please don't. There, oh, here we go. Believe in fairy tales. Okay, we have, uh, they're all Skaska eggs. There's the, uh, there's the hen that lays the golden eggs. There's Pinocchio, which I almost bought because he looks so sinister. Um, there's, I don't know what that one is. Seems to be some sort of homeless man pulling a, some sort of barracuda wearing a crown out of the ice. Maybe that's a Russian fairy tale. Uh, there's a little red riding hood. There's a rabbit finding the sun. Uh, something sitting on a stump. There's a sort of a goldfish with a crown. There, a lot of these things have crowns. There's a there's a frog holding an arrow also with a crown, and what appears to be a like a like a fairy princess with a giant like moth. Uh, I would visit that QR code if I were you. Um, I went on eggstime.com very briefly, and I uh, felt I probably got a virus from it. Um, all right, we oh, that, this is kind of creepy looking. All right, we have little statues based on the. Uh, at least I think there's. What the hell is this? Is this an eraser? What is this? Ugh. Um, I'm not sure exactly what they are, other than they're monochrome. Yet they have like. They have their eyes are the only thing that are colored in. That seems really. That seems like I don't know. Just really like look at the mouse. Really creepy. Um. So let's see what this is. Which oh man, they didn't even paint the white in the eyes. Oh, it's already like. Oh, Puss in Boots neck is already splitting in half. Uh, I. Are these erasers? It's really. Ugh, it's really soft and it's like dirty. Um, it's got big molding lines on it. Oh, and I just pulled that off. I think they're just... <sighs> Hold on. Let's see, I gotta get a pencil. Got a pencil right here, and let's get a uh, piece of junk mail or something. Okay, we're gonna... Oops. Oh. So let's see if I can erase something with, uh, like, the world's r most rubber puss in boots. Oh. You know? It's an eraser. Uh, it's not a very... Well, I say that. It's actually not too bad of an eraser. I've never felt one that's this, like, stretchy and squishy. But, I mean, it, draw a line. Oh, I made a mistake. You know, I think this is maybe, and maybe that besides the uh, little dinosaur figures and the magic egg. Yeah, this isn't really a $4 pencil eraser. I mean, you could get much better for much cheaper. Um, but this is probably the best useful value. I mean, certainly more useful than this. Um, I mean, you might get some... I mean, this is... I wonder. Hold on. Can you use this? Uh, okay. That didn't work. <laughs> um, I'm wondering because they're made out of really similar material. But, um... You know, this is the most useful value uh, that I got out of the egg, and it took all the way to the Skaska egg. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Skaska. Um, to uh, find something that was... Uh, Kinda worth it, and I say that I say that with really, uh, you know, I say that with a lot of, uh, um, you know, caution in my voice because uh, this kind of the fact that it's Skaska, right? 
I makes me really wonder where these eggs originally come from. What with the really dodgy, uh, like, art, the fact it's called Skaska, um, the weird just dirt. I know it seems really like it seems like uh, IMAX that company, which is based out of California. Um, found a company that wanted to distribute these and they bought them really cheap and they sold them to us. I mean, that's probably what happened and that's probably what happens in a lot of cases. Uh, I wonder, they must come from like Eastern Europe or Russia possibly. Um, may not be exclusively Russia. I mean, there's no, no indication at all. Um, where these originate from. So they're kind of mysterious in that way. Uh, but if any of you out there saw any of these or anything similar to, to this in any, you know, local store around where you live, uh, just pass it by. Get something nicer for your kids. Uh, like literally anything. Um, these really aren't worth it. They just kind of feel dirty. <laughs> um, oh, I should also note, uh, there were two eggs that I couldn't get a hold of for this review, so you're, we're dealing with a you know, partial line, unfortunately. I mean, <laughs> unfortunately for you, fortunately for me. Um, the other two were... Um, actually, it's on, it was on one of these... Uh, or no, it was on the this stuff. So we got the magic egg. We got the happy egg. We got the king egg. We're missing the lucky egg and the emoji egg. Now, one of those eggs, I want to say it was the emoji egg. It said something on the outside like it had like calming gummies in it or something like that. Um, and the only thing I can think of... One of them is more realistic than the other, but both of them aren't good. Um, one of them, at, at first I thought, oh, it's got, like, CBD in it or something like that. Then I was like, no, that wouldn't make any sense. But then I was thinking, are they giving kids melatonin? Which seems really wrong, um, to just, like, market supplements like that, just, like, directly to kids. Uh, especially if the parents aren't really paying attention what they're buying for them. Um, I don't know, this whole thing just seems really suspect. Uh, if I learn anything else about eggs time, magic eggs, happy eggs, king eggs, lucky eggs, emoji eggs, or skaska eggs, uh, I'll be sure to drop another video on this channel about it. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to uh, fidget. And, uh, just kind of think about what I just, I've done. I, uh, gave them four, eight, twelve, sixteen dollars of my money. And if they would have had the other two eggs, I would have given them even more. Uh, so, uh, on that note, be sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your loved ones, tell everyone you know that Dark Mario 2 still makes food reviews. And now, weird egg reviews on YouTube. Let's get them all in here for one final, one final hurrah. I just realized this is, this is $16 worth of stuff. And if you take all the garbage out, like I didn't do, I spent almost $20 on this. Minus the uh, minus two of these because they're in the garbage already. Plus a bag full of really awful tasting gummies. Um, but yeah, this is what sixteen dollars will buy you uh, if you. I don't know, not buy. I mean, these are very obviously like a rip off of like a Kinder Egg. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah. Until next time. This is Dark Mario 2, signing off.